Okay, we are currently pulling into the front entrance of the Crow Wing State Park in the south of Brainerd, Minnesota, or north of Little Falls, Minnesota. Between those two, two, between those two cities, um, it's like right in the middle. Right in the middle along the Mississippi River, which makes for great kayaking, canoeing, fishing. This area along the Crow Wing State Park, the Mississippi River is nice and calm, especially this time of the year, so it does make it really nice for those activities. Northern Minnesota, too, is also known for, of course, it's 10,000 lakes, and you'll notice when you get past Little Falls area, you start to see a lot of wooded areas with pine trees, oak trees, and birch. Really, northern Minnesota is a fantastic area. Anything north of Little Falls is beautiful. So the one thing about um, when I came back here to explore, they have electricity here, but they don't have any uh, sewer or water. So as we drove in, there was a dump station where you get fresh water and then you can go dump your septic. But that's very, very typical for a state park. So um, we're gonna walk over here and see what kind of power they have. One thing I do like about this state park and a lot of Minnesota state parks is their fire rings have the nice grills on it so you can charcoal grill your meals in the evening. You don't have to depend on your little portable grill. So, um, no 50 amp, but it has 30 amp and 20, and it looks like 20 amp. So 30 and 20 amp, enough to, if you have a fifth wheel, to run at least one of your air conditioners. And then in this location, um, where Rhonda is walking, is actually um, the showers. So if you don't want to use up your fresh water in your camper, you can come over here and shower. these uh, shower facilities at Crow Wing State Park is they're very clean. The instant I walked in the door, I noticed it smelled very clean. So they're definitely keeping up with uh, COVID precautions. And my best thing that I loved is I did not see one spider. So that makes this shower very Rhonda friendly. I love a lot of the state parks, especially in Minnesota, it's so green. You still deal with humidity, mosquitoes, and horse flies. So you need to come here if you're gonna camp in Minnesota, be prepared for that. What's wonderful about the Crow Wing State Park, it has a lot of things to do here, but it has a boat landing and you can actually rent a canoe or a boat or you can actually bring your own boat. And they do have a landing straight ahead so you can put your boat in the water. And what's, what's so famous about fishing here, again, is you have two rivers that come into each other. The Crow Wing River or the Mississippi River. And on this end of the country, the Mississippi River is pretty clean. There was not a lot of industrial stuff here until you get to the cities. So it's pretty safe to do a lot of fishing here. And I didn't, I don't think I really showed them that here at the boat landing is also where you get to the trail where there was that big battle between the Dakota and the Ojibwe. And we're gonna come around here and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And this is the beginning of the trail. Another thing you'll notice about Minnesota 
Minnesota when you're traveling through that they're not only is Minnesota known for their 10,000 plus lakes, but they have many miles of favorite bike trails. Just to name a few of the park trails, we have Central Lakes, we have Gateway State Trail, uh, Harmony Preston, and we also have, um, of course, the Paul Bunyan Trail, which is the, this is. And also another well-known one is the Lake Wolverine Trail. Okay, so to get back to you on the Paul Bunyan Trail, and I found out that the Paul Bunyan Trail actually comes in three sections, one, two, and three. The part that is uh, involved with Crow Wing State Park is section one, and that consists of 40 miles of paved trails. Um, beautiful trails, nice and smooth. They actually just finished paving the Crow Wing section um, in 2014, and it's very nice, so check it out. You will, it'll be well with it.